This dinosaur is made out of clay and has four servo motors in it. It's designed to dance to a series of pre-programmed moves. Most of you have probably played with an Etch-a-Sketch at one time. This one has a couple of motors on it and shaft encoders so it knows where it is and can draw a design just based on the computer program. The robotic painter has a camera which measures the spectral intensity of the paint being applied and continues to operate until a certain parameter is met. This is a stepper motor attached to a master lock trying to open it. Hopefully this is the correct combination that it's putting in right now so it should open the lock. And there it is. This robot uses a combination of Lego gears and motors as well as servo motors and is programmed using some software called LabVIEW to pick and place a block in the correct location. This dial has motion tracking software and a camera and servo all connected so that it follows you as you walk past him and his eyes move and track you as you go back and forth. This car has its track pre-programmed into the flash memory on the microcontroller so you just turn it on and set it off and it goes where it's supposed to. Here's another LabVIEW controlled project made out of Legos and servo motors. This time it's a gun that winds up and shoots a ping pong ball in the right direction. And this is the last of last year's digital engineering projects. I made a Wii U vehicle that is controlled by different frequencies of sound that I play with this flute.